What's up everyone? Finally, Apple released iOS 12.1 and this thing actually brought a lot of changes and we're gonna take a look at it on the iPhone 6S, see how it is and everything like that. Now, first things first, this update did come out to around 380 megabytes. I wasn't able to screenshot the full thing. I looked at it and I was like, Oh wait, I got screenshot it and I like, I totally missed it. So it was already there, but it was around 380 megabytes. I found that to be the same way on most of my other devices. I think my iPhone 8 actually had it up to 500 megabytes, which is super crazy. And actually looking at the storage difference between them on iOS 12.0.1, I had 1.78 gigabytes free and I just reran it and it actually went down to 1.73 gigs. So it did go down a little bit. You're going to lose a little bit of storage on the iPhone 6S, which is kind of funny because most of the time it actually frees up storage, but this is a pretty big update. We get a lot of stuff in this. And one of those things is actually group FaceTime now. I have FaceTime disabled, but you can now FaceTime with up to 32 people inside of one group chat. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I'll actually make a separate video on how to do that. So hit that like button if you guys want to see it. I'll definitely do that. But you can do it now, so that's super cool. You don't have to be on a beta before you had to, but now you don't have to. There's actually new emojis in this version as well. So I'm not really too sure which ones there are, but there's 70 new ones, so that's super cool. I think there's like a new bagel emoji or something like that. So that's really, really cool. Now beyond that, there's a lot of the other changes were more so for like the 10s and 10s max one of the slight ones was there's like a ton of improvements like on the back end there's like try to link the release notes down in the description but there were a lot of bug fixes with this version so that's super cool apparently for the newer iphones beauty gate is fixed if you guys aren't familiar like smoothing your face out when you took front facing selfies it is now fixed with this version so I, i'm assuming it's better now or something like that and also for the tennis and tennis max we now have dual sim support so if you want to put your eSIM or get eSIM for your tennis and tennis max you can now do that so now if you're going overseas or something like that you can now actually just use your same iPhone and just put in another sim in it so that's super cool and I love that a lot so iOS 12.1 really brought a lot of stuff I will do more tests obviously the speed comparisons are coming tomorrow but I did run a benchmark and on iOS 12.0.1 I had a multi-core score of 148,204 and I just reran it and it actually went down a little bit to 147,479 so not a lot I wouldn't even freak out about it this phone is still very very fast so far I can see that it's still super smooth I'm actually kind of curious to see how this runs on the iPhone 6s plus because that phone was way faster on iOS 12.0.1 it was actually faster than the 10 and the 8 plus so that was really weird but the 6s was actually slower than those but that is pretty much it for this update again there were a lot of cool things added it wasn't really stuff that we haven't seen yet I mean we saw group FaceTime Apple said it was coming and all these things so I'm actually super happy with it i will report back in a couple days to see how my improvements went how my basically performance went overall also like i said speed comparisons are coming tomorrow i'm going to be comparing this to ios 12.0.1 and i might do 11.4.1 ios 11 on my second channel so keep a lockdown on there and keep a lockdown on here so you can kind of get a better idea on both of them but that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything like that leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button that'll mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all that stuff is linked down below. I would really appreciate if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to everyone.